Mohan Bhagwat, the Rashtriya Sayam Sevak Sangh chief, spoke on LGBTQ rights, saying that Indian culture has always recognized the community. In an interview with RSS affiliated magazines, organizers, and Panchanya, Bhagwat provided the examples of Hamsa and Dimbhak, two generals of King Jarasandha who had waged a lengthy battle against Lord Krishna. Yashi, senior copy editor at the Indian Express, joins us to explain what Mohan Bhagwat said about LGBTQ rights and who Hamsa and Dimbhak were. Mohan Bhagwat uh, earlier this week gave an interview to Organizer and Panchajanya, which are both RSS affiliated magazines, in which he said that uh, the LGBTQ issue is not a new one and that India has always uh, had that, um, has acknowledged the presence of that community and given them a kind of uh, acceptance. And uh, uh, without making, uh, the word he used was Jada hoha nahi basically without making too much of a halabaloo, uh, Indian civilization has find, found ways to accommodate the LGBTQI community. And uh, in this context, he gave the examples of Hans and Dimbhak, two uh, generals of Jarasandh. Jarasandh uh, was this uh, king who uh, fought a lot of uh, battles against uh, Krishna, the Lord Krishna. So Bhagavad said that uh, uh, Krishna, uh, when the battle between uh, Jarasandha and Krishna's armies was raging, Krishna spread the rumor that uh, uh, Dimbhak had uh, died. And uh, hearing this, Hans committed suicide. And uh, when uh, uh, Dimbhak heard that, uh, Hans jumped into the Yamuna. And when Dimbhak he heard that Hans had committed suicide, he also killed himself. So um, the Bhagavad's exact words were, um, अब ये क्या चीज है ये वो ही चीज है इन दोनों के वैसे संबंध थे एसेंशियली व्हाट ही सेड वाज कृष्ण मैनेज्ड टू गेट रिड ऑफ टू जनरल्स दिस वे एंड द टू जनरल्स वर इन दैट काइंड ऑफ अ रिलेशनशिप सो दिस इज व्हाट ही सेड Hans and Dimbhak, uh, they are found, their mention is found in the Mahabharata. And uh, as uh, Bhagavad said, the facts of the story are pretty much the same. They are found in uh, Mahabharat Sabha per 14th Adhyay in uh, shlokas 40 to 44. So um, the story goes that uh, this, uh, this, their mention comes in a dialogue between Krishna and Yudhishthir. So Krishna is telling Yudhishthir about uh, the battle that he fought with Jarasandh. And he says that, and Jarasandh attacked Mathura a number of times. So this happens in the 17th uh, battle that uh, the two armies had. And Yudhishthir says that uh, there was another king called Hansa who was uh, fighting on Jarasandh's uh, side. And that king was uh, killed by Balram. And then the this story quickly spread that Hansa had died. Hearing this, Dimbhak killed himself. And then finding out that Dimbhak had died, Hans also killed himself. So um, the words that are used, and this is a translation of the Mahabharata, the Hindi words used are uh, Sathi and Premi. So uh, Sathi can also be interpreted as friends, but Premi very clearly mentions, um, as, um, conveys uh, the relationship of, a, of lovers. So that is what the Mahabharata says. But uh, interestingly, and as often happens uh, with uh, stories from epics, that there are various versions. So in the Krishna Parv, another uh, story is found of Hans and Limbhak, where the two are referred to as brothers. So uh, other version of the story is that there was a skilled king called Brahmadatta of a kingdom called Shal. And the king had no children, no sons. So he prayed to Lord Shiva. And then uh, Hans and Dimbhak were born brothers. And um, they were very brave and invincible. And this is something that the earlier story also mentions, that the, the two were very brave and they could not be killed by any weapons and uh, basically extremely difficult to vanquish. So the Christian Perth story also says that um, they were very brave and they were devotees of Lord Shiva. So they had some protection there. The uh, Shiva is supposed to have this whole army of Bhuts and Gan and Du. So two of such Bhut were protecting uh, these two warriors. So they were very brave. And that also made them sort of arrogant. So um, they uh, committed a series of misdemeanors. So they attacked the ashram of Rishi Durvasa 
and uh, there they vandalized the ashram and uh, basically insulted the the rishi way of life and said that uh, grihastha ashram was the only um, true good way to live then they uh, they were in fact such uh, great warriors and kings that they also held a rajsui yagya which is a yagya that only a great king can uh, hold and there they invited krishna as an inferior king uh, and it was a very insulting invite so after the series of misdemeanors uh, the battle happens uh, and they are fighting from jarasand side and um, krishna in fact in the yamuna uh, the hans jumps into the yamuna hans fell into the yamuna where krishna then kicked him to death and uh, hearing that uh, his brother was dead dimbak also committed suicide so basically uh, jumped into the river so the basic facts of the story remain the same that one of them uh, drowned in the river and hearing this the other person also drowned himself but uh, the way these descriptions are uh, ranging from companion to lover to brother uh, these various descriptions are found about the third gender he said that uh, again he said that uh, we have found a way to accommodate them in uh, in society in daily life without really making a big deal about it and uh, he said that uh, the transgender community has existed uh, since forever they have their they come and perform at our functions they come and sing uh, when uh, a child is born or something like that so they have been uh, so what he said was while they also have their own existence they have their own deities they have their own gods and goddesses now they also have their own akhada so while they also have a separate existence they are also part of the larger social life um, and uh, in this context he gave the example of uh, them coming for functions and singing at uh, various uh, functions etc and uh, he said that they have their own mahamandaleshwar now and uh, Uh, at the kumbh mela so uh, at the kumbh all the various hindu religious akhadas which are various sects essentially they um, uh, participate in this thing called the shahi snan where they all take this uh, ritualistic dip in the holy dip in the ganges so he gave the example that uh, the kinnad akhara also comes uh, to the uh, kumbh mela and they are also part of that uh, whole shahi snan the royal uh, bath uh, as it is called and uh, that is one indication of the acceptance that uh, uh, the third gender has in the indian in the hindu community largely okay